Hi guys, it has been a few weeks um, and I have not vlogged or recorded any videos so I thought um, I have a few days off so I thought I might do a little bit of like a mini reading vlog, not quite a week, maybe just a few days um, and I can just catch you up with what I've been reading um, and yeah just life happened and I just couldn't vlog for a while, I haven't really been reading um, and it's not that I haven't been reading, I did read, I read um, Queen of Nothing, I reread Crow Prince and the Wicked King and uh, read Queen of Nothing. I had been planning to vlog that but then just things happened which meant that I wasn't able to do that um, and reading just became not important at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, I have been slowly getting back into reading and um, I just haven't felt really like motivated to read loads lately and I'm kind of like, even now, I feel like I'm reading like loads of bo different books at the same time and which isn't uh, usual for me at all. It's really unusual for me to be reading more than one or two books at the same time. Um, I normally only read like one physical book and one uh, audiobook and that's about it but I have a few books on the go at the moment um, and there's one book that I have been reading for like the last three weeks which is The Brothers York which was my pick for non-fiction November which ended up being my only book that I read during non-fiction November um, and I still haven't read it, I'm at about 80% but it was, it turned out like as soon as I started reading it I knew it was going to be a very dense heavy book um, and would take me a while so I haven't put too much pressure on myself to fly through that one because I do think it's one that I needed to take a little bit of time with um, at the moment I am just sitting in bed here and I'm reading Mistletoe by Alison Littlewood. This is a book I received for an honest review from Joe Fletcher Books uh, which is with Quirkus. Um, and I thought this one might be fun because obviously it's kind of like a Christmassy time book but it's not super Christmassy. Um, it's more wintry I guess and it's kind of based around this woman who is in the depths of grief. She has lost both her son and her husband in tragic circumstances and she's after buying this farm which she believes may have been actually owned by her ancestors from like a hundred years ago um, and she's bought this farm. It's like really really run down. She's just on her own and she's decided that she wants to go there kind of for Christmas just to be by herself um, and be with her grief and she's going to like slowly start like renovating the house and do it up and kind of it's kind of like a little project for herself and um, in terms of while she's dealing with all the stuff that's happening in her life um and when she gets there she kind of very soon like comes to realize that the house could be haunted and there seems to have been mysterious um things that happened in the past with those people who could have been her ancestors and a bit of a murder mystery and she is figuring out what happened um and she's kind of yeah getting kind of these hauntings and it's a little bit creepy but in like kind of a, a way that's really interesting it kind of reminds me of like when Scrooge is visited by all the ghosts of Christmas um it feels a little bit like that um and it's very cold it's like set in like in this countryside and it's very cold and snowy and it's one of these books that when you read it, it kind of makes you feel cold so I'm like curled up in my duvet um on my bed now while I'm reading this because it is one that makes me want to like just have a lot of hot things around me and to feel real like real cushy because yeah the atmosphere of it is quite cold and creepy um but I am enjoying it and I'm hoping hoping I will get it finished today. I only have like two chapters left so I will get this finished today. Um, and then I might try and finish The Brothers York but we will see. I have 80% of that through. It is a very it is a slow read but I might try and read a little bit more of that and um, even five or ten percent um, and see how I go with that and I will update you guys in a while. It is a little bit later and I have finished Mistletoe by Alison Littlewood. Don't know why I keep forgetting the author of this. Um, I quite enjoyed it. I'm after giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I just thought it was a nice atmospheric, creepy read. Um, kind of a nice segue into kind of wintry reads, but not too magically Christmassy yet. Even though it is like the 2nd, the 3rd of December. It is the 3rd of December. Um, so we are like allowed to get into the Christmassy mood, but this is a good kind of segue into that if you don't want to go super duper Christmassy or if you want more like dark Christmassy uh, feelings. And I think now I'm going to go downstairs for a while and I'm going to go get... Um, more read of the brothers York um, and see if I get any further into that before I have my dinner um, so yeah it is half five twenty to six now so I'm going to read this for a little while and then I'll put on my dinner and we will see how I go
it is just after nine o'clock and I am back in my reading corner as you can see um, and I have washed my face and in my jammies um, ready for another couple of hours of cosy reading um, for today. As you saw earlier I did sit by the fire and I was reading The Brothers York and I did manage to finish it um, and I did really enjoy it for what it was which is quite a heavy non-fiction book about the York brothers about Edward IV, uh, King Richard III and their other brother George, Duke of Clarence and um, I did really enjoy it because I just really enjoy that subject. I am really interested in the Tudors and that kind of line and obviously the Brothers York are related in that way to beforehand of the Tudors and um, so I did really enjoy it though I do really really want to reread um Philippa Gregory's The White Queen trilogy um, and then The White Princess as well so I think I might do that in a few weeks because not right now because I think the story is still very fresh in my mind it might be a little bit too much but I do think I definitely want to reread them and um, I'm thinking that next year is going to be a big rereading year for me I do kind of say that every year but I do think definitely I'm just in the mood to reread a lot of favourites at the moment. Um, I have said I want to slow down my reading next year and not focus on reading so much, not put so much pressure on myself about reading because I want to focus more on my writing as well and I want to try and write as much as I can. Um, so that is something that maybe next year will help me if I'm rereading more so than trying to read loads of new releases. Um, so yeah, as you saw as well, I did start... I did continue because I started it last night but I get to continue reading An Unkindness of Ghosts by Rivers Solomon which is a sci-fi book um, and I am only about not even a third of the way into this um, so I think I think I'm on like chapter five now and I think I might try and get chapter six the end of chapter six is the end of the first part of it so I might try and read to the end of chapter six get to part two um, and then take a break for a while I might either catch up on some booktube videos because I still have loads to on my watch later list because I got very far behind and really quickly while I was here I actually wanted to show you I got this today um, in the post it's from my friend she got it for me for my birthday um, and it's this gorgeous pillow which um, the writing on it is Pride and Prejudice um, and it's just so lovely and I just wanted to show it off um, I don't normally do like birthday hauls or stuff like that because I don't know they just I feel weird about doing that and I don't want people to think that like they need to get me presents or anything like that and I think birthdays and Christmases are more about like the people you spend time with rather than the presents you get and um, presents are lovely obviously and I love giving presents to people but for me it's mostly about the people I'm with um, and the presents don't matter so much but seeing I do have a couple of um, birthday presents that were sent to me like books and stuff um, that I just wanted to show really quickly seeing as I'm doing a vlog rather than just doing I don't do like singular birthday hauls or Christmas hauls because I just don't like to do that um so I wanted to show you quickly what I have here because um they are books and the first three books I have here are from my best booktube my booktube bestie Kirsty of her Kirsty's Reviews and she sent me some really interesting books um that I am dying to read now and um, one of them is The Last Wish by I actually don't know how to pronounce that name um and this is the Book of the Witcher uh, series, which is coming out on Netflix. I think it's out this month, so um, I might try and read this before uh, watching the show. We will see. And then I got Twas the Night Shift Before Christmas by Adam Kay. Um, Adam Kay wrote, um, is it This Is Going To Hurt? Um, yeah, This Is Going To Hurt, um, which I read on audiobook this year and really enjoyed so this will be really interesting definitely a nice one to read at Christmas time and um, because Adam Kay is quite a funny writer even though he's writing about quite serious things his writing's quite good and then one I'm really really excited about and I think I actually might start reading it tonight because it's going to be a really quick read I think in a while and um, as I said it is what time is it now it's 20 to 10 now I think maybe in an hour or so when I want to get real kind of snuggly and sleepy I'm going to go down and make hot chocolate and I'm going to start reading this and that is Heartstarker by Alice Osman and I um, I kind of like skimmed through the first few pages of this and I'm already like in love with this. So and I've heard amazing things about this which is just this really cute kind of comic book about these two boys who become friends and a little kind of romance starts happening between them. One of them is kind of I think he's more nerdy and then the other boy is sporty and like a rugby player so it seems like an unlikely match and it's just supposed to be really really cute so I am dying to read this. And then one other book I, um, I have um, at the moment is one my brother got me um, for my birthday. I normally tell him what books I want in the last few years I've always asked him for a non-fiction book and it's actually really fun um, and he's very good. He'll always uh, get the book that I specifically have said that I would love to read um, and this month or this year <laughs> this year was Over the Top by Jonathan Van Ness who's obviously Jonathan from Queer Eye who I absolutely adore they're just a wonderful person um, have heard amazing things about this book um, Jonathan is just one of those people who just 
brings happiness and light into the world I think and into people's lives even through just a show like Queer Eye or their podcast and yeah I'm just really looking forward to reading this it's not um a big book and I think I'll fly through this one but I'm kind of like I don't know whether I want to read it now or if I want to like savor it for a special time but this could be one I say I could reread over and over again and love so yeah I am dying to read this It is Wednesday afternoon now and I am up showered and um, I have made one cup of tea and I'm about to make another cup of tea um, and I wanted to update you with my reading that I did last night. Um, so I did read Heartstopper um, and I think I read it in like not even 20 minutes like I flew through it it was just so cute and lovely um, and I really enjoyed that so I gave it a full five out of five stars just because it was just super cute and did what it was supposed to do which is give you all the feels um, and I don't even have it right now because as soon as I finished it I gave it to my brother and I was like you'll love this you have to read this so hopefully he will read that because I think he will really enjoy it um, and then I ended up starting kind of by accident akin by Emma Donoghue which was my next neck alley slash kindle book that I'd kind of lined up um and I ended up kind of say, saying to myself last night I was like oh I'll read like a couple of pages and see just what the writing style is like and I ended up reading like 15% of that last night um because apparently at the moment I am incapable of reading just one book at, the t book at a time so now I'm also reading Akin as well as An Unkindness of Ghosts so um I did read another chapter of An Unkindness of Ghosts this morning um and I'm still enjoying it it's, it's a little bit confusing just in terms of the way sci-fi tends to be confusing but things are kind of starting to not really be revealed but maybe I'm just kind of getting more used to the world and the way people are speaking and the caste system that's in this book um which is very it's very like racially divided and there's a lot of racism and slavery and just terrible things happening um to the lower caste in this book who tend to all be um of one skin color so tend to be like the white people are seem to be have a great life on the ship all people of color are kind of almost slaves in a way um, and treated really badly so um it's very interesting in how it is all kind of written out and revealed um and I have been enjoying that but it will probably take another little bit before I feel like I'm really into the story um so yeah I'm just going to make a cup of tea now be with the dogs who are down here Desi's making uh shapes down there um and that is what I plan to do I'm ready to do it you good don't treat. guys it is Thursday afternoon and um, it is almost 12 o'clock and I'm about to go and get some Christmas shopping done and um, I got up a little bit later than I planned to today because I just had one of those like really weird nights it took me ages to fall asleep and then when I was asleep I was just having nightmares and yeah I just I kind of want to like I'm kind of in the mood where I would love just to stay in bed today but I have to go and brave the shopping centre um, and it's better for me to do it now rather than on the weekend because it'll even be busier so I'm going to try and do today and see if I can bash out as much Christmas shopping as I can today. Um, so in terms of reading, um, I've got about 70% into An Unkindness of Ghosts and 
I, like I am enjoying this and it is a good book it is a little bit confusing in times and some of the way that like the characters the main character Aster is definitely autistic the way she thinks um, and that is very interesting and it's great to see that kind of representation in a book um, but the story itself there's bits of the story that are just like confusing and it kind of switches back and forth sometimes really suddenly between past and present and some of the some of the decisions the characters make don't always make like a whole load of sense in terms of like their safety and all of that and what exactly they plan to do um so yeah like this is like it's, it's a fine book I'm enjoying it but I don't think it's going to be any more than the three stars and unless something at the happens near the end that's really amazing I don't think it's going to be more than three stars um and then I got 30% into a kin by Emma Donoghue and I'm really really enjoying that one and um, that one I think is one I'll probably read a lot more this evening um, and I want to try and get at least one of, the, one of these books finished today um, but I am really enjoying a kin it's kind of like a weird grown up version of like Up the movie Up because you have like an older man who's retired who's lost his wife who you know has kind of these plans to do these things and then suddenly there's like a kid on his doorstep and he has to look after this kid and he's no like he has no um experience of looking after children and they have to kind of somehow form a bond so it kind of reminds me of this like a really weird adult warped adult version of up but i kind of love that um and i just love emma dunny's writing and i love how she just creates her characters on the page and yeah i'm really enjoying that one so um that's definitely one i will dig in today i don't know if i'll get any reading done while i'm out um it kind of depends on how busy it is and sometimes I'll go into a shop and as soon as like I kind of don't what I need to do I get out of there I do not want to st stay any longer in the shopping center because I'll be so busy but it'll be nice and Christmassy as well so if it's not too busy maybe I might stay around somewhere and try and get like a hot chocolate or a chai latte and read for a little bit but we will see I don't really know yet um so I'll update you guys in a bit and let you know how much more reading I've gotten done and that will be that for now Hi guys, it is Friday um, afternoon-ish, late morning, and obviously I didn't really vlog that much yesterday after shopping. I shopped as much as I could. I got like 90% of my Christmas shopping done, which is great. I don't need to worry about it now. Um, and then I went to see my gran and I came home and I did get a little bit more read. I didn't finish anything. Um, it's just taken me a really long time to finish these books for some reason. Um, might be because I'm reading two at the same time. I don't know. Um, it's really strange. Uh, it normally takes me much quicker time to finish books um, but I am like probably like 80% into An Unkindness of Ghosts I only have like on my phone I think I only have over oh, about 120 pages left and that's like phone pages um, so I will definitely get that finished today and then I read I ended up staying up quite late last night I was playing The Sims and then um, I ended up reading for a little bit as well and I got about 63 64% into um, Akin so which I am very much enjoying so um, that is one I will definitely be go like trying to finish today as well um and I think I might try and listen to my audiobook today as well because um I'm currently listening to The Golden Tower by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare which is the last book in the Magisterium um series but I have this um paint by numbers thing that I got like a couple of years ago um at Christmas um my dad got it for me I used to love paint by numbers when I was younger. I used to sit here for hours and just do them. Um, and I think it'd still be fun to do like now. It's kind of like a little bit like adult colouring. Like why can't you do paint by numbers as well? Like it is fairly fun. Um, and I haven't actually done any like adult colouring or anything in a really, really long time. And I kind of need to get back into it. And I find it's a really nice thing to do while you're maybe like catching up on YouTube videos or watching a show or listening to an audiobook or a podcast. So I think I might want to try and start this paint by numbers today. And then I can kind of do it over the Christmas time as well, which should be really nice. So it's just like this really, really nice kind of like horsey one as you can see um and it's just been really cute um I used to love these so much when I was younger and I think it would just be really really fun to do that while listening to my audiobook so yeah that is my plan for like the next few hours I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast now well brunch more so than breakfast um and catch up on more YouTube videos because because it like I was already behind as soon as I catch up I have so much more videos to add to my watch later list because obviously it's vlogmas so everyone is posting I love vlogmas and I love watching vlogs but vlogmas can sometimes for my watch later list can be very overwhelming because there's just so much stuff to watch um so yeah
So <laughs> I didn't listen to any of my audiobook while I painted yesterday. Um, instead, I ended up watching like three or four episodes of Dairy Girls while I did it, which was a fine idea for me as well because Dairy Girls is amazing. So I thoroughly enjoyed that, um, re-watching that myself. Um, so yeah, I did some painting yesterday. It was really, really nice. It was, I haven't done something like that in so long. So it was just a really nice thing to do. Um, and I also managed to finish two books yesterday. So a miracle happened. Um, I finished Kin. I gave it four out of five stars. It's just like a very sweet-ish book. Like, it's sweet in terms of like it has this kind of older person, younger person relationship in it and they're kind of starting to get to know each other and there's this kind of fragile connection between the two of them and they're trying to figure out how to be around each other and how that relationship is going to work and is it going to be a long term thing, is it going to be a short term thing, that kind of that kind of thing and the boy is very like he's been through so much trauma in his life in terms of he's lost so many people in his life he's had good people in, in his life but just because of circumstance he's lost a lot of those people really early on um so you know he like he and he's from like a rougher part of new york like um you know where he's seen things and his school isn't great and you know he he is kind of he uses a lot of bad language and then the older man noah he's just kind of letting michael say whatever he wants because he's like you know it's not really going to be my problem in a few weeks and then the more he thinks about it the more he's kind of like you know he's just it's just it's just like really nice it's like i was a kind of i've described on twitter as like an adult version of up if the kid in up was fell mouthed and they went to france instead of going to wherever it is they going up um it did feel very much like that and it's one of those bo books where i would love to see a movie of it so bad because i think a movie version would be really really good like something like the little boy who was in room maybe playing michael and then someone like the granddad from little miss sunshine i don't know that actor's name but someone like him playing the 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 older man in this noah would be brilliant um I would love to see a movie like that because I think it'd be really funny. Um, and there is kind of like historical element because they go to France and Noah is trying to figure out think what his mother did in France during World War II and it seems like she had a connection, some sort of connection um, either with the Nazis or with uh, Jewish people around that time. And he's trying to figure out kind of what side that was on. And he's getting a little bit like worried thinking that his mother could have been someone bad but also on the other plus side she could have been someone really good. He just doesn't know yet. He's trying to figure that out. Um... So there's a little bit of history there as well, which is very good. So I gave it a four out of five stars. I did really enjoy it. And then I finished Anne and Kindness of Ghosts as well last night. And I gave that, as predicted, a three out of five stars because I did enjoy that. Um, it just, I did really enjoy how gender and sexuality were, were how they were in this book and how people kind of um, talked about themselves and how, you know, you know, no, like not everyone was, you know, completely like heteronormative there was a lot of people who were a bit of everything and the way they described that was really good I really enjoyed that um obviously there are some tough topics in this there's definitely like a lot of references to like sexual assault there's a lot of racism um a lot of abuse stuff like that is very hard to read but it was done in a really really good way and I think in terms of having world building on a ship I think it was done very well considering we're all, we are on just like this one ship um but I think it just kind of was a bit too kind of all over the place a little bit at times for me and then the end of it was a little bit like everything kind of happened in like a couple of pages and then it was done and the end of it I was a little bit like okay like what happens now like I don't know um the end of me the, end, the ending left me a little bit like oh, okay um so yeah three to five stars I did enjoy it I think if you are into sci-fi you would probably enjoy this as well um but not one that blew me out of the water in any sense so now I am going to pick up So Lucky by Don O'Porter, which is like a contemporary book. So I think after those, I just wanted something kind of funny and contemporary. And I love, I really like Don O'Porter's last book, The Cows. So I'm going to give that one a try. Um, but in terms of this vlog, I'm going to end this vlog here because that's been a few books now. I think I've read four books this week um, so far. So that's great. Um, more than I've read the last few weeks anyway. Um, and this vlog kind of it kind of fell apart the last couple of days because I didn't read too much and I didn't end up vlogging. Um, so yesterday we ended up me and my dad ended up having a movie night and we watched three movies in a row. Uh, we watched Let It Snow, which is okay, the crap, but like it wasn't wasn't as good as the book and it changed a lot from the book unless I'm remembering the book really badly. Um, then we watched Holiday in the Wild, which is fine, not super Christmassy, but it was grand. And then Pitch Perfect Three, which was ridiculous, but I liked it because it's Pitch Perfect. So 
um, yeah, that's what we watched last night and <laughs> that's how I didn't get as much reading done yesterday but um, I did have a really nice kind of cosy day so I did enjoy that. So I will speak to you guys again in another video, maybe another vlog, who knows, um, and I let me know what you guys think of the books I've read um, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!